the biggest app and gaming event of 2016. Wage 16, the foremost app and gaming event, brings about industry-leading players together under one roof. Wage is a, it's a, it's a coming together of all the stakeholders in the um, gaming industry in Nigeria and I, and I think some part of Africa as well. Okay, so Unity is a tool that allows developers and any kind of uh, person from any background and level of experience to, ab to be able to create their creative vision. So we develop a software with, which allows you to target any platform, so Android, iOS, uh, PC consoles, web, and with this tool you can create contents 2D or 3D to make games or applications for architecture, for uh, films or anything you want to be running on these platforms. Yeah. Uh, today, Unity has been used, is used by a lot of 90% uh, of the developers here in Nigeria. So we are into the market and we are looking at really uh, expanding the market here. We have a few uh, conferences that we're going to be showing. The idea to be here is to show some love, which I like to say, show some love to the community here and introduce them to Unity if they don't know it and show them the capabilities of the engine and how much they can uh, use it for any kind of environment, any kind of activity or industry. So basically it's either to introduce people to Unity or push them to do more with Unity. Um, the certification is um, basically a certification, a qualification key who um, brings you to um, be to, to qualify as a Unity certified developer. So it's a graduate level um, certification. So that means that if you have been able to um, use Unity and if you are a Unity expert, you can uh, pass it. Um, like the, this developer who passed this, this exam. Um, we also provide a courseware uh, which you can um, access online and which can um, allow you to learn how to build a game from the ground up. Game Plus, the largest collection of games in Nigeria. Text GAME to 2200 to start playing for as low as 20 Naira daily with no extra data charges. MTN, everywhere you go. TSO, what are you doing? You mean myself? I'm moving to empty Plus with immediate effect. How do you do? Four, six, nine, How do you do? Number one. Four, six, nine, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling nice, yeah. Now we be the boss with them the final Cause anything we do they want to do Anywhere we go they won't follow We be the number one for this game now Right now I'm on the buzzing beat I'm too big, too much, they are watching me All the fine, fine girls, they be cuffing me As I pause, everything happens suddenly <laughs> Overnight they are calling me I'm a boss, I'm in charge, they be follow me <laughs> They know if you say they don't know me Cause when you join pause, you're on the winning team the way we they take over, it's a good it's a 46, not the code. It Benny Kumi, what we on the head? We they help by the cyberspace. Yellow dropped up, right into a finer place. We design our frames. I see you like my gaze. You want to share with us? You look quite amazing. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling nice. 
in big on the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Nigeria app. 10 million naira is up for grabs. Simply download the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Nigeria app for free on the Google Play Store or Facebook and you're well on your way to playing for 10 million naira. Download the app and send the words PIN to 165 from an MTN line to register and get a first set of 30 questions. At any time you exhaust your questions, send Q or questions to 165 to receive another set of 45 questions. Now here's where it gets even more interesting. Each week, 30 players who are on top of the leaderboard will win 5,000 Naira each, while at the end of the month, the top 5 players will be rewarded with 50,000 Naira each. But that's not all. You can go on to win 10 million Naira by playing the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Nigeria app. So, what are you waiting for? Download and play the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Nigeria app today and start winning cash prizes. Text messages cost 50 naira only. They say you scored the highest, uh, guys, the certification, you know, related to games. Can you tell us a little bit about it? So it's called the Unity Certified Developer. It's a certification hosted by Unity. Unity is, a, is uh, one of the largest game engines in the world. And the certification basically shows that you're proficient in Unity. It helps you build, visi um, increase your visibility when it comes to the game industry. And it's also a verification for yourself to know that you actually know what, you've actually learned stuff and you're confident in your skills. So uh, Unity just surprised us and decided to give the person with the highest score um, a MacBook Pro. I think the best exhibition is, is what the people are actually making out of Unity, you know, like you have uh, I've met some kids, 14 years old today, that are gonna pitch our game tomorrow, made with Unity, so I think it's very nice for this. Like. The first school that we're gonna bring onto the game, they are called Greater Games, and they're from Greater Scholars International School in Aja. Can you clap for them, please? Enobong, Alvin, Colleen, Emmanuel, and Collins. And Enobong is going to be the one to pitch, right? Enobong is going to be the one to pitch their game called Greater Games. Thank you, please clap for her. Good afternoon, judges. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Enobong Upong, and I would like to represent my team, the Greater Gamers team. Part of my group members are Busola Keep over there. Enola Taiwo and Chiruma Ogwagu. Um, together we make the tech girls. The name of my game is Crazy Breaker. About the game, Crazy Breaker is a simplified game that can be played on laptops, desktops, etc. The name of my game is Hello World. My name is Shalem Onyebola. I'm 14 years old and I've studied game design for four years now. The name of my game is Chemistry Diver. It is an endless runner game. You are to collect the blue and green balls to increase your points and health. While you are to dodge the black and brown balls because they reduce your life and you start the game. This is the game flow. It starts with the splash screen, the main menu, the game level, then the game itself. Then if you die, you lose the game and restart. The control is touch button. I've been playing games since I was nine years old, and I am here to pitch my game. The name of my game is I Hate Exams. What is I Hate Exams about? I Hate Exams is a tricky trivia game that's supposed to help you develop your brain and help you think outside of the box. And in order to succeed in your game, you have to answer the questions correctly and also think outside the box. It's not like the, question, the answer is going to be at your front. You have to look around, look for the answer and answer the question. In order to control the game, you have to use the touch button and you also have to drag and drop. And you can also play my game on Android phones and iOS. Uh, who else has another answer? Why do you say that? It's the golden key. Okay. okay, so we're on the same page. Is it correct? Is it correct? No. Okay. You also said click on the right key, the key at the right. 
That's very good. That's very good. Uh, it, actually, you have to think outside the box, like he said. This. Cool. Question two. One plus one. Uh, anybody? Anybody? One plus one. Remember the rule of the game. Think outside of the box. Who is talking? Two. Two. The one at the, the, one at the top, here. Yeah. Two at the top, right. Yeah, it's correct. That's cool. Um, question three. How many letters are in a sentence? Hint, the answer is big. How many letters are in the sentence? Anybody? Grumpy bird. I created one for summer and one for winter. The winter is grumpy bird frozen fever. This is the menu screen. Um, the game overview um, is also on Android platforms. You can see my games on Android platforms and also on um, up, uh, iOS. Next slide. The game overview. Grumpy Bear is an, is an adventure game where a bear has to collect items and avoid his enemy while flying. During gameplay, the player has limited time to collect a certain number of collectibles. And this is due to the fact that it's winter and the bird is actually a very, very grumpy bird. And now that it's winter, the, the, um, the winter weather is disturbing him, whereby killing all the enemies he see and collecting all his collectibles. The game rules, you have to find your way through enemies and obstacles. You have to collect, uh, your collectibles are cookies and stars on your way. It's an endless runner game. This is the game flow, splash screen, then the menu screen. Then you start the game itself. If you are able to play, you get, um, you are able to collect your collectibles and stay healthy. If you can't, game over. We all have that one friend that can shout like to borrow. Babes, please borrow me that your bag. Borrow salt. Borrow car. Even borrow touchlight in the middle of the night. But the one that pains me the most, borrow data. So I decided to stop all that and introduced my own Boro Boro friend to the all new MTN data bundles. Dial star 131 hash to find the MTN data bundle plan that's just right for you. And if you're out of airtime to buy data, simply borrow data and pay later with MTN extra bytes. As for the other stuff, well, we are still working on it. MC, I have a wedding tomorrow. Please, can I borrow your bowl? MTN, everywhere you go. Hello. Hello, my boy. Daddy, who are you? <laughs> I'm in London. Did you sleep well last night? Yes, I even went to bed on time. How did you get there? I flew here on a really big airplane. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mom got me some new crayons. Oh, someone is having plenty fun, though. Yes. I drew a purple dragon today. Okay. And someone stepped on my toe when we were playing football. Ouch. Did it hurt? Yes. But I see called two goals. I sent you a video. Ah, that's my boy. Are you bringing me a present? Of course I am. So make sure you do your homework, huh? Really? Mm, really. Okay. Okay, my boy. I'll be home tomorrow. Daddy loves you. Love you too, Dad. Sleep tight. Bye, and don't forget my present. <laughs> Introducing MTN Hello World. Stay connected with simple and affordable roaming rates. TSO, what are you doing? You mean myself? I'm moving to empty Hempos with immediate effect. How do you do? Four six nine How do you do? Number one. Four six nine I'm feeling good. I'm feeling nice. Now we be the boss for them the final. Anything we do, they want to do. Anywhere we go, they won't follow. We be the number one for this game now. Uh. Number, uh, number one. Right now I'm on the buzzing beat. I'm too big, too much. They are watching me. All the fine, fine girls steady cuffing me. I suppose everything happens suddenly. <laughs> Overnight they are calling me. I'm a boss. I'm in charge. Then they follow me. <laughs> they know if you tell you say they don't know me. Cause when you join pause, you're on the winning team. 
the way we the take over, it's a good time, 406, not the code, it barely cool me while we on the head, we the hook up by the cyberspace, yellow drop top, right into a finer place, we design our frames, I see you like my gaze, you want to share with us, you look quite amazed. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling nice, yeah. Our second runner-up. Really, really amazing game. Popular genre. Chemistry Diver. Can we have you come up, please? And MTN, please come up and just um, with the photographer. Is the photographer here? Okay, so we're taking, we're gonna have all the participants go over to the MTN booth and that's where we're actually gonna take all the phot uh, um, photos. But uh, we can just have you shake the shake the winners. So please, let's clap for MTN. Our second runner-up, Chemistry Diver. Thank you so much. Please meet MTN um, at their booth for your prize after this. Okay, so let's quickly go to our first runner-up. Okay. Why is everyone looking at me like this? Our first runner-up. Grumpy Bird. We loved that game. It sounded like Flappy Bird, but it was a great, great concept. And Christmassy. It's ready for ready for launch, MTN. It's 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 Christmas. Okay. Thank you. So please. So please don't forget to go over to the MTN booth after this for photos and your prize. So, now everyone's wondering, who won? Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so our first prize goes to I hate exams! Awesome, clever, original, and just messing with our minds. We love you for it. Great to meet you. Please. Well, well done. So please don't forget to go over to MTN's booth to collect your prize. So guys, thank you so much. This is the future of gaming. We start small, but we're definitely not going to end small. So thank you. Um, we hope to see much more next year. And thank you again to all of the judges who, um, who decided on, on, on these great games. Can we have a round of applause for the judges, please? So now, can you just tell me briefly what your game is, was all about? What was your game about? It's like a tricky trivia game that's supposed to help you develop your mind, think harder, think outside of the box. It's kind of a game that is supposed to make exam more fun and to tell kids that they should put their attention more into their exams. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. So more like an educational and fun game at the same time? Yes. Okay, so now, how long did it take you to develop this? Like three days. Wow, three days. So we can just say by in three weeks you can get about another seven awesome games. Yes. <laughs> okay, so now these games, are they published? Can people play them? Yeah. yeah. So how do we access the game? Um, after this is going to put it on the Play Store, going to put some finishing touches, but for now you can get it through side loading. That's, I have it on my phone, the APK format, I can share it. Okay, so you can, so say I'm in France. Yeah. How do I get it? We're going to put it, we're going to publish it okay, this week. It okay, this week? Okay, yes. Beautiful. What's the name again? Michael. Michael. So, so can you tell us about your game? Uh, my game is named Grumpy Bird. It's an endless it's an endless runner game. I made a game out of um I made a game out of thinking and all those things and I found out that there's a bird. There are always birds. I see birds flying around just just setting down somewhere, I trust them at them, they still come back there again. So looking at these girls girls girl birds really grumpy. So I decided to make a game about them. And the game is an endless runner game. The, it's no it's Christmas now and over or not in Nigeria, abroad and other places it's snow. It's snowy now, so it's winter period and I named the grumpy bird frozen fever. 
Okay, so the, the, the game is a winter-based game that you get to show your anger against birds. Yeah. It's a winter, <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 I guess it's summer version. Because you said the inspiration was that you would throw stones at birds. <laughs> and I wonder, are they so grumpy? <laughs> so I decided to make a game about grumpy birds. Wow, that, that, that sounds very, very interesting. Okay, so what happens? Are you, are you, what do you do to the birds in the game? Um, you have the ability to shoot to shoot candies at the birds okay. since it's winter yeah and the, the birds are um it's a winter period so the background is winter everything winter stuff like that okay so if i may ask what's what, why winter because it's christmas period okay so let's 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 talk about your game what's what's your name again my name is shalem shalem okay so what what's what's the name of your, your game chemistry diver sorry chemistry diver, chemistry diver. Okay, so can you tell us a little bit about chemistry diver um it's a game i created which a dude underwater has to do different kinds of poisonous chemicals and collect chemicals which enhance his abilities. Um, I got this idea from chemistry. I, I actually like chemistry. It's my best subject in school. So I thought, let me make a chemistry game, a, a game that will make, will make uh, science students will enjoy. MTN Game Plus, the largest collection of games in Nigeria. Text GAME to 2200 to start playing for as low as 20 Naira daily with no extra data charges. MTN, everywhere you go. Can you hear me? If I do not get my presentation in the next minute, eh? There will be trouble. How are we supposed to work with data speeds like this? It's the internet experience that will change everything again. Brought to you by Nigeria's widest data coverage network. It's time for real 4G LTE. Join Nigeria's largest 4G network. Text 4G to 131 now. Your presentation, sir. NTN 4G LTE. In every sphere of life, it's life like never before. In big on the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Nigeria app. 10 million naira is up for grabs. Simply download the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Nigeria app for free on the Google Play Store or Facebook and you're well on your way to playing for 10 million naira. Download the app and send the words PIN to 165 from an MTN line to register and get a first set of 30 questions. At any time you exhaust your questions, send Q or questions to 165 to receive another set of 45 questions. Now here's where it gets even more interesting. Each week, 30 players who are on top of the leaderboard will win 5,000 Naira each, while at the end of the month, the top 5 players will be rewarded with 50,000 Naira each. But that's not all. You can go on to win 10 million Naira by playing the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Nigeria app. So, what are you waiting for? Download and play the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Nigeria app today and start winning cash prizes. Text messages cost 50 Naira only. TFO, what are you doing? You mean my side? I'm moving to empty hempos with immediate effect. How do you do? Four six nine How do you do? Number one. Four six nine I'm feeling good. I'm feeling nice. Now we be the boss with them the final. Cause anything we do, they want to do. Anywhere we go, they won't follow. We be the number one for this game now. Right now I'm on the buzzing beat. I'm too big, too much, they are watching me. All the fine, fine girls steady cuffing me. As I pause, everything happens suddenly. <laughs> Overnight they are calling me. I'm a boss, I'm in charge, then they follow me. <laughs> they know if you tell you, say they don't know me. Cause when you join pause, you're on the winning team. The way we they take over, it's a good time. Four, six, not the code. If any crew me, what we on the head? We they occupy the cyberspace. Yellow dropped up, right into a finer place. We design our frames. I see you like my gaze. You want to share with us? You look quite amazed. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling nice. 
Well, basically, the game scene is just developing in Nigeria. So Wage itself is a good platform for us to showcase what we have. And a lot of guys are not exposed to the fact that there's a platform to actually latch on to make more revenue. There are a lot of young developers out there, there are a lot of game developers out there looking for a platform to actually exhibit their stuff and get money. Most of our game developers that we see are doing stuff for selling to the international markets and all. But now there's something home that you can latch on, you can leverage on and make money from. So Wage is the perfect environment for us to network, socialize, and showcase what we have. What we have is the MTN Game Plus. Um, we partnered with MTN to develop um, a platform. This is what it looks like. Okay. So what we want to do is look for local developers to get um, local games, customized local games that can actually relate to the local people here. Not just the, the foreign temple runs and all. We have our own local games that our own local guys can actually feel and all. And the developers can actually benefit from and make money from. Because I know that there are talents out there. So it's just all about meeting them at wage and getting to know them and showing them our platform. And hey, they can come and make money with us. Okay, so I run Jinai Games, and basically what we do is we build games around cultural themes. Uh, basically, we're, we're trying to make our cultural values fun for kids to learn. So, I mean, you want to learn Yoruba, you want to learn Igbo, you want to learn Hausa, learn about our stories, you download our apps. That's what we do. So, at the moment, we have about 12 gaming apps, and then we have one TV, uh, one cartoon video series that is currently running for kids too. So you can get the games on Google Play and Apple Store. Uh, just search for Jinai Games. Our most popular one is the Yoruba 101, which is a Yoruba language learning app for children. And you can get it on either of the stores. Well, with respect to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire app, um, it's an app that we just developed to be able to give people who like Who Wants to Be a Millionaire to play on the go. Well, I would say it took um, strategy, of course. It took um, having to organize a team, put a project team together. It also took a bit of, um, uh, you know, discussion and communication within the um, ecosystem. And also, we had to talk to some of the stakeholders uh, in the gaming industry and also some players of the game, you know, to be able to put um, something that a product that eventually works for everybody, you know, together. Well, my final word is, in terms of product development, you have to, your product has to solve a problem, a, a specific problem. Your product has to have a unique value proposition. Your product has to also tailor, you know, to, has to be tailored to market needs. So if you do all of this right, trust me, your products will not fail. Um, Huawei is looking to, to, looking for a way to tap into the local markets. And when I mean local market, I'm not mean, I don't mean who we are, I don't mean the end users, but then the content creators, how can we support? How can we get to know these people in depth, you know? We're trying to understand how we can contribute some more into the ecosystem, try to develop the ecosystem, try to contribute some value. So that's the first thing we stand to gain. And number two, we also try to, want to try to widen our, not widen our, broaden our scope. We also try, we want to try to meet more developers, try to meet more partners, try to grow, try to grow our brand as a company. So first, um, when you log into our game portal, we have the feedback section. You can drop a feedback, you can, you can um, you drop a feedback, you can drop an inquiry. So when you drop that inquiry, then we can get back to you. And uh, usually our reply time is usually in less than 24 hours. So if you want to join the platform as a developer or as a provider of content, you just drop a feedback there and we'll be with you in less than 24 hours. Okay, like you say, a journey of a thousand miles starts with one step, right? So if you never start, you won't, you won't learn, right? So Forget all the fears, just get yourself, get into it. Just start, start something, no matter how small, no matter how uh, childish the app or the game might look, it doesn't matter, it's your first game. Um, you know, just start, put it out there and keep improving, keep improving, keep improving and getting better and then reach out, you know, reach out to people that, that have done it before and ask for help, you know, um, so that you can also learn and get better at it. Mm -hmm.